Hey, what's going on, family? Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. I know my Saturday and my whole weekend has been magical. So many opportunities, so many gateways, so many portals has opened up. Um, it's a beautiful thing. I'm going to wait till I gain some people in here. I could double speak. I don't understand why I never can get any good connection, like, it doesn't matter where I go. I wonder if I need to go closer to the camera. Hey! <clears throat> Greetings! I'm just sitting here trying to wait till everybody comes up, so... Before I go into detail, I just want to wait for a little bit more people to come, you guys. How's everybody doing this beautiful, beautiful day? Uh, hey. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Okay, cool. Hey, John. How you doing today? Today we're going to speak about um, creating your own deity and how we create deities every day and don't even sit back and, um, I'm glad you're doing good, don't even sit back and realize that we create these deities every day. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to show you how to make your own. Because this, this, the thing is, the deities are your servants. You're the master. You tell them what to do. So, with that being said, it's time for us to really take take control of our lives and start start using these servants, start using these energies, um, to uh to uh you know to create what we want and to bring what we want in this reality. So, um, I'm just gonna get started. If anybody comes in, they're just gonna have to uh, replay it a little bit. So let me send out some more invites. Um, but yes, you guys, this is going to be a great tool to help you in the matrix, to help you function through, because I know on a day-to-day, a day-to-day, -day, it can be hard to f function in the, um, in the matrix. Actually, I'm up in the city life. I'm up in the DC area and it's chaotic. It's chaotic in the city. And I, I feel you guys' pain when you're, when you're speaking about, you know, being in that city life and not being by nature and, you know, it's just, it's just it's a little bit chaotic. I couldn't I couldn't live in the city. So okay, so hey, okay, we're gonna just go into it. So um deities. What are deities? Deities are thought forms. Well, what is a thought form? If you switch the word around, a thought form is energy in formation. It's just it's energy that you're putting out, but it's really like a spell. So with that being said, we create deities every day. We call stuff into existence. Just like you say, oh, I got depression. But what is depression? Depression. Depression is, a, is an energy that you manifest. You feed it every time you say, I have depression. I got depression. Yes, my depression has me like this. You're feeding into it. It's, it's a thought form. It's an energy. It's a deity. All these deities are energy. And so we do this every day. We, we call we call on these thought forms. I'm so clumsy. I'm so ugly. That's that's a thought form. That's energy. That's energy. That's the energy that you created in your field. And so you just keep feeding it by saying it. And so um that's why you know it's, it's you know your your thoughts are really your spells. You have to really watch what you say. Because every time you say something, you speak it, you speak, you're, you're, you're calling it. Yes, you're feeding it, you're feeding it. So, you know, anytime you say, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you're just feeding into that. And so everything is a deity. Mickey Mouse, SpongeBob, it's a, it's a character, it's a symbol that people give their energy to. You see what I'm saying? 
everything, even your Oshun, your Ogun, your your Papa Lebas and your Shivas, all of those are energy with a story. You just put a story behind that deity that you want to, the story speaks to the subconscious mind. So that's why they always give you a story with these deities. You know, you had a, a set, a sar, you know, you had Jesus and, you know, the Holy Ghost. But all of it's always like a story. And so with that being said, these deities are just energy forms. They're just thought forms behind a story. And so with that being said, you can create your own. Because think about it. If everybody's using Oshun, everybody's using the Oshun energy, it's like, how can everybody eat off that plate? It's like everybody eating off the same plate. Everybody just going for that same energy. Why not create your own energy? Create your own deity. It's really, it's, it's really simple. It doesn't even take, it doesn't really take a strong effort. Like, I had not have to pull the Bible verse for you guys. I don't know the whole thing, but it's like you can't enter the kingdom of heaven to your like child, child like using your imagination, have an imaginary friend, imaginary friend. What is imaginary friend? That friend is there. You may not physically, or you may physically see that friend, but it's there. When we were kids, we naturally did what we were supposed to do. We created because we creators. We made our own universe. When we was when girls, when we was playing with our Barbies, and um, you know, playing with them and dressing them up and walking with them, you know, some of them will sleep with them. Some of us, I mean, some of the dolls will sleep with us. Some of them wasn't. Like we did what we wanted to our deities. We already had deities when we were little. We did what we were supposed to do. Our parents suppressed that. Our parents suppressed our imagination. And our will to create and to will in what we want in this 3D reality. So I'm here today to tell you that we can get that back. We can create our create our own deities using our mind. It's really not that hard. Now let me tell you, for example, I have a couple of deities that I created. But you really have to get in your child mind mouth. You have to get child minded. You know, you really do. Like, let me show you one of my deities, Shiva. Shiva is my proper form. Shiva protects me everywhere I go. I give energy to it. I feed it. You have to connect with it. You have to sleep with it. You have to wear it. You have to talk to it. Just like when you were small. This is Shiva. You know? I have um I have Igor. I got Garfor. Garfor is very, 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 very tall. Like every time he's very tall and slender. And every time he walks, he's like pounding when he walks. He, he's he's really my protector. Like that's my one right there. And then I have seven. Seven aligns my chakras. I, I just call upon seven when I want my chakras to align. It is just energy. That's all it is. You just get just like when little boys, y'all little boys was playing with y'all cars and playing with y'all action figures. And you were so in the moment at that time when you fighting with the other one and you just you really into those 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 um you know those action figures. You created your own reality. Nothing wasn't telling you that you won't ruin it, and it's and, and we need to stop suppressing our kids with it. If your kid has a a quote unquote imaginary friend, let them do that. They seeing stuff. They doing what they supposed to do. Now we going back trying to figure out uh how to use our imagination because we so far gone. We don't even know how to use our imagination anymore. We don't even know how to tap into that. We got to get back into that. And we have to watch our thoughts and watch what, watch what we say. Because whenever we say we this, we that, we ugly, we, I can't do this, you know, my breath stink, I don't know, just something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you creating that, you are creating that deity. We create deities every day. Now, you can get real creative with this. You can get you a doll. Now, I can't really go into deep detail about this. You have to do your own research. Just to know that there's some there's some classes coming up on some some dope stuff about some some voodoo dolls, but but you can get you some dolls. You can create your um you can do sigils. I'm doing some sigils later. I'm gonna definitely do some sigils, and everywhere I go, I'm gonna carry those sigils with me. But I'm gonna put them like on um I'm gonna put them on uh, a colored paper, 
so that it really speaks to my subconscious mind. So I'm going to program my mind with the scenery and the colors to get what I want. And the, and the thing is, I can't stress it enough. You guys are the creators of your own reality. I was just telling my sister Mars today, whatever I do, I always put a spell behind it because everything that I do and say is a spell. When I'm in the shower and I'm taking a shower, I'm like, I am cleansed. I am purified. I am free from responsibility. I'm just like, when the water's pouring down on me, I'm just, I'm felt. I'm making, I'm making something. If I eat something, especially if I eat the fruit that's tied in to one of my chakras being bound, I mean, um, blocked, I'll eat the fruit and just be like, um, you know, my sacral chakra is free. My chakra chakra is unblocked. You know, I just come up with something. Like everything you do, like you putting lotion on, shoot, when you put some coconut oil on your body, just say to yourself, as I put this coconut oil on, my DNA is alive and it is active. Visualize it. Know it. This is a game, you guys. <laughs> this is a <laughs> This is a game, like, I can't stress it enough, like, this is a game, and so, some of these things we do every day, people ask me about rituals, and if I do a ritual, like, you do a ritual every day, it's just a routine, you do it every, like, every time, you get up, you have your coffee, you drink some, um, you, you watch, you, know, you, or you read a newspaper, you know, you walk the dog, it's a ritual. You have to start getting back into these things, but, to create that deity is so easy. So, um, so yeah, you get coins, you get crystals, you can draw it. Um, I mean, the sky is the limit. And you can have a shoe. You can be carrying a shoe around, a damn flip flop, and that deity might be Mister Flippity Flop. I don't know. Like, it don't matter. Like, seriously, like it's that. It's really, it's really that simple. Whatever you give your energy to. So watch what you give your energy to. Watch your spells. Because when you spell, certain things happen. Do. Do. Especially when you start to vibrate high. Or even when you're vibrating really low. Those are two strong energy tools. You bring in stuff. And you pull in stuff into your life with that, that high energy that you're giving off. So if you vibrate high, you're going to have synchronicities left and right. You you already laid off in the in, in the path. You are like a perfect flow. That's when you have to come into the flow. And then when you vibrating really low, you gonna start bringing. You you can't figure out why you about to lose your house. Your man leaving, you get sick and stuff. It's all stressed out and depressed. You want to kill yourself. You vibrating low. Get these deities up. Create these deities. If you feeling low, get you a do a, a create you a deity that makes you feel happy. Name it Mr. Happy Pants. Name that deity Mr. Happy Pants. And whenever you're feeling depressed, whenever you're feeling stressed, call on Mr. Happy Pants to bring you joy and love. It's really that simple. It's really that easy. You are the magician. It's really that simple, y'all. I mean, I can't stress it enough. Like, like you know how energy works. And you know the type of energy you bring into your reality. You definitely bring it around. So, um, money. Create a deity that brings you money. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. So, uh, so yeah. So, whatever you want, create a deity for it. And if you don't know how to make the visuals, go to my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel. Isis Love on YouTube. You gotta kind of go like Isis Love and then go to like channel. And then uh, I got a video there on sigils because it's really cool when you do sigils because you can carry them everywhere. You can take them all over your house. You can take them in your car. You can make a t-shirt. I mean, freaking get creative, man. Get creative. Get the freaking t-shirt made with your deity. Walk around with that with that old goon or that old shoon or whoever you want on your chest. Let it be in your energy field. It's that simple, man. It's that simple. It's that simple, but, 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 you know, there's always a but, like, somebody gives you a good sales pitch, and then it's just like, but, <laughs> but, you gotta be vibrating high, because I'm not saying that this won't work for you, but you gonna manifest negative, because you in a negative low vibration, 
So in order to get accurate, accurate results and results that you need on your, your, your life purpose and your path, you got to start by Miss Kaya. We was talking to this dude yesterday. He was dropping some deep science. He brought something up to my attention. He was like, your body, this melanin, this melanin avatar, your body has solar panels. Once you start getting in the sun and letting the sun hit your solar panel, you energize this avatar. You don't have to eat. You're going to come to the point where you have to eat. Right now, I'm coming to the point where I eat one time. I may eat some fruit and then a salad or a fruit and like a light meal. But you're going to come to the point time where you ain't going to need to feed this physical body. Your cellular panels is eating the sun. By us eating these fruits, these grapes, these cantaloupe, these watermelon. Oh, man, strawberries, all these juices with this juice. Drink that juice. You don't even really got to drink water. You can survive without drinking water if you just drunk fruit juice. At least the fruit juice got the vitamins and the minerals. Nowadays, water, you don't even know what the water got in it. Even if you get a little reverse thing or you think you're going to Whole Foods and you're getting that distilled water, that's stripped. Just drink some fruit juice. You got everything in there you need. Alkaline already. No tablets, no liquid drops, no nothing. Woo! Man. Got to start by Miss Kaya, y'all. This is the month right here. I hope y'all ready for the food challenge for Monday. This is the month right here. This is the month for the food challenge. Um, what is that? Are you hooked up to my Bluetooth? What you are, I can hear, I can hear myself. I was like, you know you was hooked up to my Bluetooth? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, you can still hear me. Yeah, guys, but, um, get ready for this food challenge. I would highly recommend that you, uh, get you some journal, get you a journal, meditate, everyday experience while you're on this raw fast you know do some meditation even if you can only meditate for five minutes y'all or ten minutes it's the thing that you're training your brain is repetition so don't stress out if you like i only got 10 minutes to meditate. i mean i only got 20 minutes i only got 10 minutes it don't matter just get used to doing it when you wake up in the morning before you get up don't pick up that cell phone because that's what we do we roll over we pick that damn cell phone up we go right to facebook twitter all that sit there for a while Close your eyes and meditate. Say some positive, strong affirmations. So get ready for this food challenge. Because no, after the food challenge, I got a grand surprise for you guys. I'm about to take this to a whole nother level. So hop on this. Because once you hop on it, you're going to be leveled up. And when you be leveled up, you're going to be ready for this next information that I'm going to give to you. You're going to be ready for this next challenge. Okay? So, um... I just wanted to come on here. I just want to tell you how easy it was to make deities. What a deity was is just a thought form, and then it's just energy and formation. Um, watch what you say because you create these depression, these sadness, this lonely, this I can't get a man. I can't get a man. When you create a I can't get a man um, deity, guess what? You ain't going to never get a man because you feeding that deity. If you get a man, you can't feed that deity. That dead deity want to be alive just like, like you. You create an energy store. Energy never dies. You gotta watch what you create. So, um, I love y'all. Dang, I love y'all. I can't stress enough to just be so, so humble and so honored and so thankful. Very, very thankful. Thankful to know that I can do this. That I can connect to you guys. That you guys can feel me. That's the most important thing that you can feel. You know, so um, I just love you guys, and I just want you to know it's really that simple. I know it sounds far fetched, but the more you but fake it till you make it, fake it till you make it. If you don't believe it, fake it, because guess guess what? Your subconscious mind is gonna believe it. So just don't doubt it. Just do it. Fake it if you have to. If you think you're a vegan and you're not really a vegan, just say you're a vegan. Just fake it. Shoot. It's going to happen. 
That's how that subconscious mind works. So, um, yeah, get you some imaginary friends. When you, when you know what I'm saying, when you eat dinner, set them a plate out. Set them a plate out. Feed them. You can get a teddy bear. I, I got a teddy bear. That's my deity. He gives me comfort. His name is Teddy. Miss Teddy, too. I got to get him. He's in my dad's house. But I got Teddy. He gives me comfort. He gives me unconditional love. So I, I, I've been creating deities. That's what you should do. Get your spiritual team up because we are at war. And if you ain't got nobody protecting you, you can't because these, these deities is just you. It's energy that you invoke. But you got to be vibrating high to invoke these energies. Because when you vibrate low, you can invoke the wrong energy. So, um, yeah. So I'm not going to make this long. I'm about to eat some cantaloupe. I'm about to get charged up. Solar panels and skip, please. Okay, solar panels, yes. Okay, um, our skin, I said this, you can, you can picture it like this, metaphorically, like, um, our skin, our melanin, our melanin-based avatars have, just picture it as being solar panels. And every time the sun hits our solar panels, which are our melanin songs, because what happens is when the sun hits our skin, the melanin songs comes up from the pigment, and it comes in and it sucks up the sun. So it's like black holes or black portals. Your melanin is like a black hole. It just sucks in and sucks in and sucks in and sucks in energy. We That's why we got this dark pigment. We're like a black hole. The melanin. It's chaotic. It's everything. And so with that being said, your, 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 your skin is like solar panels. That's why you need to go out and charge yourself with the sun because you won't have to eat so much. And then you just want to eat raw. And you start noticing when you eat certain he heavy foods, your stomach starts to hurt. You got to eat light. You got to eat light. That's what your body wants you to do, eat light. So um, definitely start eating light, y'all. It's time to get in that. It's, it's time to get vibrate high. And it's time to get in that, uh, that, uh, that, that carbon phase. It's time for us to change. Okay? So, um, yeah, I love you, too. I'm about to go ahead and sign out of here because this cantaloupe's calling my name. It's so sweet. Um, I hope you guys took your notes. You can always go back. Uh, I know everybody can hear me loud and clear. That's good. So, love you a lot. Um, coming at you tomorrow morning with a good dish that I'm going to make uh, for the raw, raw food challenge for tomorrow. So, get your stuff, get your supplies, get your grocery list. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay? United we stand.